to simplify this trig section, you really need to know that uh, secant theta is really 1 over uh, cosine theta. There's a trick you can remember. If it starts with an S, then it's 1 over C. So therefore, cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta. Those two is always the opposite. Okay, that's you use that, go directly into it. So it's just 1 over cosine theta minus cosine theta on top divided by sine theta. This is often the case with uh, trig functions or expressions. It gets messier before it gets better. Here, we need a common denominator. So it's cosine theta squared okay, divided by cosine theta here. So I combined the top. I made it a um, common denominator cosine theta. And then since I'm dividing sine theta, that's equal to multiply by 1 over sine theta. Okay. Now trig identity here, because cosine theta squared plus sine theta squared equal to 1, this can be simplified into sine theta squared and then cosine theta here times 1 over sine theta. Okay, Since that's a square term, I can cancel one of the terms and I have sine theta, cosine theta. And this, as you recognize, it's a definition for tangent theta. That's pretty good. It's not bad for a simplification. Okay, Here's your answer, so have a confident day.